So we were founded in 2007 uh, in response to the Virginia Tech shooting. And the idea was that if you're, if you're licensed to carry a concealed handgun in your state and you can carry in all other kinds of non-secure places, churches, shopping malls, restaurants, public uh, parks, they, you should be able to carry that same concealed handgun onto a college campus. And every town comes out and starts talking about, um, you know, the, we hear common arguments all the time about campus concealed carry. You know, there's a lot of drugs and alcohol on campus, uh, you know, 18 year olds carrying guns, all these things that, you know, we've been, we've been combating for years and are actually on our Facebook page at concealedcampus.org. They're purporting as facts and reasons why we should not support campus concealed carry in Texas uh, to the tune of $100,000 media ad. And so for us, you know, you have to be 21 years of age to have a concealed handgun license in the state of Texas. And you can't consume alcohol when you're carrying a concealed handgun. And we already can carry concealed handguns off campus where all these parties are happening and we're not shooting each other up in the street. So I don't understand how those things translate. So there's no data to support the idea that if you arm students that you're going to get a reduction in the already low violence that occurs on college campuses, that there are already systems in place for security initiatives already in place. So it would, so it would be an experiment to say, to say, well, what would happen? Let's see. And, you know, mothers aren't willing to play games like that with their children's safety. They're just not. It's not something that you experiment with. Over 70% of Texans don't want any part of campus carry. But yet here we are. The chancellor of the University of Texas, the jewel, right, of, of the Texas University system, um, and a retired four-star admiral, by the way, is completely against it. And here we are, law enforcement, overwhelming majority of law enforcement, absolutely against it, testified in all the hearings, laid out the reasons why it's a bad idea, the damage it could cause, the dangerous situation it could cause, and here we are talking about it.